fam. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. It's your girl Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life Apothecary and BahatiLife.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to be diving into this week's charts and this week's cards. I'm a little late on filming this, but it's because I've really been in the zone all day yesterday and all day today to the point where I looked up and it was three o'clock in the afternoon and I was like, holy heck. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm currently writing my book for 2022. It's gonna be the full breakdown astrologically and intuitively for, yeah, next year, 2022. Um, speaking of which, this weekend is a holiday. It's the Christmas holiday for those that are celebrating. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. And of course, I'll see you before the new year, but I will definitely show up and wish you a new year. So also, we have Venus retrograde. Venus is finally retrograde, you guys. Looking at the chart right now. Whew. I mean, we gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it. <laughs> We're all in this together. I just had a vision of a suitcase, I don't know why. I guess that makes sense because there might be some people traveling, but I've seen some of you guys, um, someone's packing while they're while I'm talking to you right now. Um, safe travels and stay grounded, you know what I mean? Meaning that wherever it is that you're going, continue to, to ground yourself, to center yourself. Um, yeah, while you're traveling. That's not a warning or anything like that, but there's just so much movement and activity that I can imagine it can be a little overwhelming. Having said that, you guys, let's talk about Venus retrograde right now. So if you don't know, Venus rules our relationships. It rules love. It rules beauty. It rules the aesthetic. It rules money and the things that we can tangibly value. When it's in the sign of Capricorn, we become far more serious about those things, all of what I just mentioned. And when it's retrograde, we start to change our minds and we start to shift with what we like, what we love, or how we give and receive love, where we're putting our, where we're investing our time, our energy, and our heart within. I'm gonna jump the gun a little bit here and just say, if you can, can you go back in your text messages? You guys know I am an astro, enthusiast i love astrology so much i've been studying this almost all of my life also i'm nosy what was going on december 11th can you go back in your text messages go back in your emails look at conversation look at the days around that or maybe your journals what was happening december 11th of this year because i without a doubt I'm doing my studies, but I feel like you are going to have to revisit whatever happened that day. Let me know down in the comments if you feel comfortable, but without a doubt, you guys, this energy is going to be re-emerging once again with Venus moving through the sign of Capricorn and then uh, she's retrograde now. She's going to be retracing her steps back over Pluto. Pluto is working really, really hard to purge, to purify, and to make right the things that are revolving around our area of love and beauty and aesthetic and relationships and money what does pluto see needs to be pushed out at this time there's this really strong message that's coming through of faded faded encounters but faded moments within our encounters so faded conversations faded um, faded experiences, faded ideas that develop and pop in and bubble into our heads or bubble into the heads of other people with vert the vertex point sitting in the sign of Libra. This is about what are we harmonizing with? What are we connecting with? Um, the other thing that I'm seeing is with Pluto and this Venus conjunction and the happening, the closer that Venus gets to that conjunction once again, which is going to be on the 25th, Christmas Day, the more we're going to start, we're going to be feeling this, but we're going to be feeling this all this week. What is it going to feel like? It's going to feel like you are getting pushed to intimately connect with another, to intimately, intimately and deeply connect within yourself, your body image, the way that you care, carry yourself and care for yourself is evolving. You are designed to be feel 
magnetic. You're designed to feel powerful. You're designed to feel in control for as much as you can when it comes to the outcome and the choices that is that you make. Are you making choices and decisions that will benefit you for the long haul? If not, this Venus conjunct Pluto transit that again is going to be happening the 25th, but we're going to be feeling it all this week. You're going to have the opportunity to revisit and to make a better move depending on what's right for you and the planets really want something solid we have the world card at the very base of this reading the planets want something very solid for you and stable for you however is that something that you are attracted to with the judgment card showing up here and with pluto just in general sitting in the sign of capricorn you are really experiencing revelations and revolutions when it comes to the things that it is that you would normally be attracted to what you're putting your values in and what you would love to see choosing you and you're choosing it or maybe how you give and receive love is evolving maybe what you think is attractive is evolving and you're learning so much about yourself you're learning so much about yourself you're also learning about other partners don't be surprised if you hear from an ex or a friendship from the past that comes through and says, listen, December 11th, around this time when this conversation was had or when this happened, I was not ready. I could not even face looking for the long haul, for the long vision. It was intimidating. I don't know if these people are going to have the right words to use, um, to say to you, to clarify, but ultimately this is the energy here. It's gonna be up to you to decide if this is something that you still want, if you want to revisit it. With the judgment card, this is going to be a, vated, a very faded decision and very faded moment within your relationships, within your spending, within your values, within your body image, but it has to happen, it has to be done, okay? With the vertex point sitting in the sign of Libra, this is about how you feel about yourself it's also you know um libra rules fairness justice um harmony and synchronizing what are we aligning with are we aligning we are we aligning with the truth are we aligning with fear are we aligning with our insecurities if that's truly the case we have to try our best to lead our hearts back into to lead our hearts our mind our body back into a position of higher higher vibration this can take a lot of courage this can take a lot a lot of courage with venus moving through this i'm sorry with uh neptune moving through the sign of pisces three of coins is here three pentacles in the world card there really is this divine plan this divine vision, that spirit, the divine God, the universe, your higher self has implanted and embedded in your core. And it's for you to tap into that, to ask the questions and to sense that something more is here for you. When I say something more here, this can split into two different things. This is definitely what is I'm seeing. This can split into two different things. This can be a truth that evades you this means that someone or something is not totally telling you the truth it, it feels like they are guarding the truth are guarding what they're working on are guarding what they're saying they're holding it off to the side because they're not trying to hurt anybody also i'm seeing that they're not entirely sure or if they are sure they're afraid to speak up they're afraid to put it out there what is it they want what is it they're doing keep in mind we have mars here exploring all of the options seeing all of what can happen out there very optimistic it's a very forward aggressive jittery explorative curious transit that mars is going through right now this is you really needing to sit with yourself and say to yourself where do I see myself in 20 years? What does he or she look like? And with the sun, sextile Jupiter, at the very beginning of this week, 
technically it was the 19th, but in, in that energy still carries on into this week. Sun is sitting, is transiting Jupiter. I'm sorry. Sun is transiting Sagittarius. Jupiter is transiting Aquarius. About to enter into the sign of Pisces. You really get invited into thinking about the bigger picture larger than what it is that you can currently see right now in front of you if this ties into relationships if this times it ties into your spending if this ties into your self-care your self loving rituals your routines or what it is that you're currently investing your time your energy and effort into if it doesn't if how you're moving right now doesn't fit this ultimate vision 20 years from now that you can sense is there for you but you may not see the signs of it right now also keep in mind that Saturn is moving to the sign of Aquarius so as much as we can see the bigger picture we're also seeing these big obstacles in front of us that just seem like there's no way that this can be moved there's no way that this can be this this obstacle is so huge this mountain is so great I want to be able to gr to climb this mountain I want to be able to get to the top of this this has been my life goal I feel like I've been called to do this but do I even have what it takes am I even capable of getting up there can this even happen for me this is really conflicting energy because you can sense that there's something more out there. You can sense that if you put in the work now or take those steps that, yeah, you could do it, but can you? There's this feeling of doubt. There's this feeling of just as much as I can see the bigger picture, I can also equally see that looming shadow over my head that really is threatening my survival. My survival. That's how serious this chart has been looking these last few days. That doesn't even talk about what's going on in, in the in the globe right now. That's not we're not even mentioning that, you guys. We're talking about our intimate lives right now. So it's like all of these things seem so uncertain. They seem so uncertain. They seem like we are in just really foggy times. And you have all of these goals and these visions, and you're trying to carry on with your normal, but at the same time, you've got this outside noise these outside obstacles, these internal obstacles, the obstacle from your partner over there, that your business partner, the obstacle from the from the girl or the guy that is that you're dating or whatever it is, all these different things, maybe these health concerns, these health conditions, and a lot of you is questioning, can it be done? Can it be done? Some of you are like, yeah, just give us an answer. Give me a second. Let me pull these cards. So first and foremost, spirit wants you to know, the divine wants you to know, your guides want you to know, whoever it is that we're connecting with right now, eight of wands, king of pentacles. The journey of a thousand miles really does begin with one step. There is a lot of activity. There's a lot of communication that is happening this week on the 20th, which is Monday. And the days following that, we have Mercury moving to the sign of Capricorn. It's going to be trining Uranus. Yep, I just want to make sure. Uranus is currently sitting in the sign of Taurus. Totally retrograde right now. What this means is that we can usually expect the unexpected, but just crank that up to 2,500. <laughs> We have the tower card written all over this. I haven't seen the tower card here yet. I wouldn't be surprised. But there's a lot of really inf interesting bits of information, di different ideas that are coming into your head, that are being planted into your head, things that you're seeing, emails that you're hearing, conversations that you're having that do act as a game changer here. Thank God. I want you guys to be totally open to this divine intervention when it comes to, again, your security, your stability, your finances, your relationships, the, the long-term longevity. King of Pentacles is ruled by Earth energy. So we have Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy here, of course. Everybody has these signs within their chart. Some of you guys might have personal planets that fall within that. But regardless of what that is, these energies are showing up really, really strong to say that there is an idea, there's a conversation, there's a message to be had and held here. 
With that being said, you are entering out of or exiting out of the Strength card and the Six of Wands type of energy. For those of you guys that don't know, Six of Wands is the card of accomplishment and success, but it's also what I like to call my PTSD card. <laughs> we don't experience this level of accomplishment um, and reward and success and recognition without having gone through something. The biggest thing that is I'm seeing here right now is you proving your strength or being tested to prove your strength with the element of your patience with facing adversity, with facing the demon, with facing this bigger obstacle, looking it dead in its eye and saying, I still want to move past you. Wow. You look it dead in your eyes, dead in its eyes, and you say to it face to face, I still want to move past you. I see that you're blocking the way. I see that you're blocking my path. I see that you are trying to hurt me. I see that you want something I have. I see that you're trying to resist my my growth. I see that you're trying to stop who I want to be and where I see it, see me going or whatever the case is and I still want to move past you. To have that level of strength and courage is really really telling because you are looking at the obstacle and you're saying this is what I want and my fear or my hesitation my hesitation or my doubt is not going to stop me from still wanting this I will be patient and I will be persistent it is not just me who is showing up in this I've got the whole universe behind me I have my angels I have my ancestors I have the archangels I have magic I have intention I have prayer all of those things are working on my behalf I'm gonna take another step forward I'm gonna be tired I'm gonna be exhausted but I know that there is something else that is out there for me I've seen it I've felt it in my dreams and my visions I feel it in my heart the reason why it's so strong within my heart is because I know that it does exist it's out there in the world three of Pentacles and the world card are here saying that all of the things in the world there is something out in the world that is absolutely choosing you and wants to harmonizing harmonize with you we have the part of fortune sitting in the sign of Sagittarius which has scanned the entire world we have Mars making you um, almost irritable and unstable with how much you want to get out and how much you want to experience new things you might be forced to experience new things you might be forced to explore the world when really you wanted to stay in your your community guidelines you wanted to stay within your hometown you want to stay with your comfort zone but spirit says three of pentacles the world card there's something else out there that wants you that wants to build with you do you want that Part of you guys can say, you know what, I'm scared. I know that I'm capable, capable, but I'm terrified. We have the Temperance card and the Two of Swords. The center of this reading, don't be afraid to pause, to surrender to the idea of the unknown, to surrender to your fear, feel the fear, put it off to the side and say, I just need a moment to recollect myself. I just need a moment to harmonize with all of what it is that I'm feeling right now. And then when I'm ready, I will then take that step forward. Something about this week, if you are able to speak out loud to the universe and speak your intentions to the universe and say to your obstacle, literally, I know that you're trying to stop me right now, but I still want this. Something about that level of courageous determination and your honesty makes a, a breakthrough come through, a message come through, and a, an idea come through. Something that just comes probably right out of the blue. I don't see the tower card here but I wouldn't be surprised if I did see it. We have the Queen of Swords right now and the Knight of Cups. This is spirits really acknowledging your level of discernment when it comes to opportunities coming in, messages coming in. Some of you guys are very, very skeptical for good reason. Knight of Cups feels like this energy of like, not everybody is my friend. Not everybody has good intentions for me. Not everybody wants what I want. Some people are here to take. Some people are here to distract me. It's going to be up to you to decide how this feels for you. The Wheel of Fortune here and the Star card is also supporting your growth and your progress. Again, you can feel that you are on the precipice of incredible change right now. It is very, it's, it's very massive. It's very powerful. And it feels very... Like you know something is big here, you can feel it, 
you can see it, you can sense it. That can trigger a lot of different feelings, you guys. Don't forget that when the star card shows up, usually it's because we're sitting in the, the bottom of a pit somewhere. <laughs> or we've gone through some things that put us to be like, okay, I'm going to look up for the stars and look up for direction and, and hope and have faith again. Why? Because why, like the fact that you have to say again or have faith, it's like, if I'm telling you to have faith, it's because at one point you didn't have it. You know what I mean? It's almost kind of insinuated. Like it's almost kind of, so that is showing me that you, for the most part, you've had to be strong throughout this obstacle, this cycle within your life or strong throughout this year. And it does seem like something is coming in really fast and you might be on guard and be like, listen, you can't be throwing this at my head right now. You can't be throwing this into my email. You can't be asking this of me right now. I've got to use my discernment to any offers that are coming through and I'm going to scan it and feel it out first. And spirit says, you know what? That's a good move for you. Page of swords here and the sun card. So again, there's information that you could really make you happy. Absolutely can make you happy, but you might be questioning its origin who sent you that's kind of the vibe that is i'm getting here who sent you but i'm seeing that the star card and the sun card both which are stars they're going to illuminate any darkness any i just heard the word forgiveness some of you guys are going to be learning a lot when it comes to forgiveness forgiveness of yourself and your own steps along your journey that is huge that is absolutely huge in the part in the position of the future we have the queen of cups and we also have the emperor so with these masculine energies here we have the king of pentacles the emperor the sun card is very masculine I want to say, and the strength card can be very masculine. Well, it's a balance of, you know, tapping into your masculinity and your feminine energy. But with the Emperor card here and the Queen of Cups, the feelings that you have within you run so deep. You are highly intuitive right now. You are highly em em empathic right now you may be very sensitive, not in the sense that you are crying over everything or you're out of your, your feelings or your hormones are out of control, but you can sense the environment. You can sense when something is not right. You can sense someone's needs before they say them. You can sense the intention of another before they even, you can sense that someone wants something from you before they even ask. With the emperor here, there is this guarding energy around you. There's a lot of guarding around you with the strength card, with the temperance, with the two of swords, with the emperor, with the queen of swords. She's like the queen of discernment and self-control and king of pentacles. <laughs> There's so many cards this week that say, I'm stabilizing. I'm stabilizing. Or spirit is speaking to you and saying that things around you really are stabilizing. On the 21st, we have the sun entering into the sign of Capricorn. And this is going to really put a heat lamp on the cement to help it to dry faster. This is going to be your firm foundation. If this is truly the case, having barriers stops people from drawing random shit in your, the cement of the foundation of the home that is that you're building. Does that make sense? That's a metaphor that just came through, but it's just so funny. It's just like, when the cement dries, that cement is gonna be there until someone comes in with a sledgehammer and breaks it down, but like, who's doing that? And if that does happen, it could be a generation from now. It could be very, very long, long time from now. So Queen of Cups, my love, is standing here and she just says, this is off limits while this is cementing, while this is solidifying. I'm off limits and while I'm solidifying. And anything that comes through, there is this level of discernment and hypervigilance that says, what are your intentions? Where did you come from? Speaking of cement breaking down, we have Uranus. Moving through the sign of Taurus, Taurus is the cement, the earth, the ground, the terra. She is 
he is retrograde and then we have saturn cold dry moving to the sign of aquarius emotionally detached someone something here that was once originally emotionally detached from you might come in and give you an offer might come in and want to give you hope might come in and give you some type of news or information that you just probably didn't see coming again i don't see the tower card here but i'm really really strongly sensing it we have page of swords knight of swords someone something is not ready to carry on without you two of swords it's there or you are not ready to carry on without them two of swords says literally i'm locked up temperance i want to work this out i want to reconcile i want to fix this king of pentacles it really could be an earth energy capricorn taurus virgo or those aspects aspects within yourself of where this rules it's eight of wands says literally like can i help you with this it almost feels like an offer coming in and you're just like where did you come from what are your intentions i knew that you were coming before you what before you show, were showing up ace of pentacles here and also the king of wands the king of wands reversed some of you guys right now are showing up as I am so serious about my future. Emperor here, definitely. Ace of Pentacles here, 1000%. King of Wands, reverse. I am so serious about this that you can actually almost bulldoze, especially with Mars moving to the sign of Sagittarius, you can almost bulldoze past people, push their faces into the ground. Now that Chiron is also direct, you guys, shout out to that. That just happened um, the, the 20th, I believe. Whew. Chiron retrograde was such a fucking doozy, pardon my French, I'm sorry. Um, but masculine ener energy leadership was getting a beat down. They needed to, though. Masculine energy has been very toxic for quite some time. Masculine energy has been toxic, toxic for quite some time. This had a lot to do with Chiron retrograde moving at the sign of Aries. It's just a part of, a part of the process. So... Now, finally, yeah, the closer Jupiter gets to um, Pisces and the North Node sitting the sign of Gemini, you might actually be connecting with the top, really harmonizing and aligning, especially Temperance card here and the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun card. Two of Pentacles energy, but I'm not seeing that yet. We have Three of Cups, though. Um, some of you guys are really ace of pentacles. You guys are learning how to harmonize with the toxic masculinity aspects within yourself where you feel like, were you doing enough? Do you feel like you were enough? Do you feel like you were capable? Do you feel like, you know, you can do it? There are ventures that you've kept putting off, kept putting off, kept putting off, kept putting it back, 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 back. You're procrastinating or doubting yourself. And now... The closer this gets, the more imperative this energy starts to come and says, you know what, write that book. <laughs> that was a message for me just now because I'm, I'm supposed to be writing this book. I am writing this book, but Gemini rules communication, information sharing, book writing, and you know journalism and that type of stuff. So um, with the North Node, Gemini says, come on, let's go. Put it out there. Use social media, connect with social media. And then take it to the next level. It could really be a best-selling novel for some of you guys. There could be, um, um, with uh, Gemini too, this could be this, the twin flame. This could be your divine counterpart. If that's the case, especially with this emperor energy keeps showing up. And temperance here. And the strength card. And the wheel of fortune. And the star card. And the sun card. And the world card. I mean, come on. There's a lot. There's a lot of signs that say that say literally masculine energy is finally solidifying itself, finally getting it together and says, you know what, it's time for me to show up. Or this is the masculine energy within you that says, you know what, it's time for me to show up. It's time for me to take direction. It's time for me to speak up. It's time for me to have forward moment here, especially with eight of wands and king of pentacles this week. What do we see for others, you guys? We have seven of cups and hanged man, someone, something did not know what they wanted, so they definitely kept you hanging in limbo. This is where some of you guys are like, you know what? No. No, 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 no. But I, it kind of feels like 
they're having some level of clarity, especially with the death card here, Knight of Swords. They're having some level of clarity. They kind of know what they want. They're choosing um, a student. They're choosing, like, if this is like a scholarship, they kind of looked at everything, and now they're kind of deciding. They were exploring all of the different options, left you kind of hanging. There's still, you might, you're going to hear little signs and signals of this. Don't take anything personally. Please don't. This is where this Queen of Swords that, energy... Guys, my battery died. However, what it was I was saying is that someone, something has definitely been leaving you guys out in the cold or leaving you on limbo, leaving you on red. For some of you guys, this looks like, um, I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting the energy of someone in the medical field. If they're waiting to hear where they're placed, you start to wonder, are you going to get any more information, any more news? There's a really strong chance that you will this week. Um, for those of you guys that are waiting, waiting for test results, you're going to get it this week. Definitely. Knight of Swords and the Death card is going to be life-changing death. Definitely. Um, this is when the Wheel of Fortune card and the Star card are showing up and they're like, literally, you might not be able to see it now, but have hopes because that's where it is that we're going. Um, this is also reminding me of the mountain that I was talking about earlier at the start of this video, which is like, you can see all of what can happen. You could see all of what you're capable of doing or all of what it can be, but you're also seeing this obstacle. It's like, what's going to happen now? And Seven of Cups, it just feels like whatever this is, they're exploring their options. Seven of Cups, the hangman, this is giving me Neptune energy 1000%. I don't know where I'm going. We don't know yet. We haven't decided. So this is where you guys are like, literally like you're kind of in this limbo phase. Everything kind of is put on pause. Meanwhile, something comes in when you least expect it. Again, I'm not seeing the tower card here, but I definitely feel it. We have the lover's card here and the seven of wands. This is the advice that spirit wants to give you. Do not give up on love. Do not give up on what you've chosen. Do not give up on your happily ever after. Do not give up on no matter what the beast is that you're looking at, especially with this lover's card. It's ruled by the story of beauty and the beast no matter what this beast is no matter what this obstacle looks like seven of wands don't give up not just yet you'd be surprised this is the advice it is what it is um a little patience a little kindness you're looking at beast dead in its eyes and you're saying literally regardless of all of what's going on i still want you having said that what do you want <laughs> what do you want Venus, this is spirit. Spirit is literally like, if we're going to have this conversation, we, gotta, we need to have this conversation. Venus retrograde sitting to the sun of Capricorn says, be very serious, mindful, discerning, aware of what you want, what you're attracted to it, what you're attracted to and why you're attracted to it. The outcome of this, my loves, we see three of cups and we also see the page of wands. The page of wands was reversed. For me, this is a little concerning, and the reason why is because for so many of you guys, I really see you being very serious about your future goals. However, I just heard the word premonition. Some of you guys are going to have a premonition that is coming through that's going to help boost you, give you optimism, get you, give you, get you excited about what is to come and where it is that you're headed. Um, this is actually really important. Spirit is telling me really clearly right now, this is really important that we give you this premonition, this idea, while you're in this limbo phase there's a reason why we've kind of left you in limbo and hanging at this point in history at this point in your life because there's definitely something else that they want to inspire divinely inspire you into seeing and feeling interesting also page of wands and three of cups is very much celebratory type of vibes which makes sense because a lot of you guys are going to be celebrating or spending time with family and friends this week Okay, Seven of Pentacles was reversed and also the Magician card. Last thing that Spirit wants to tell you is that... I was going to say something and Spirit just stopped me right dead in my tracks because the Tower card! I knew it! I knew it. Okay, this feels like a secret. <laughs> Spirit is saying this is a secret. It's like a little tip. I don't know why this feels like a secret, but it is. Ten of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Clarify the Two of Pentacles, please, before I speak. Spirit's like, no, just speak about it. Okay. This is a tip that Spirit is going to give to you right now. Okay, um, divine intervention. Oh. Sorry about that. 
Okay. Divine intervention is definitely at works. Divine intervention is at play right now. Seven of pentacles. It's going to miss you. Meaning, it's going to miss your pers pers perspective. It's going to miss your vision. There are certain obstacles, certain things, certain blockages, certain hesitations, certain doubts, certain troublesome things, things that are very frustrating that you are going to see first before you see the promise, before you see the reward. Spirit says, before you take what is showing you right now in this reality and try to build with it, we actually want to divinely intercept. We're going to, it's, and even as I'm saying this right now, I'm now even seeing that the mice here, this feels like what you are looking at is not what it actually is. The mice can be transformed into the, the horses that carry the chariot. The pumpkins turn into the actual chariot to take you to the castle. All of this was a wish that was made. Why are you telling? And then the Ten of Cups is your happily ever after, your wish fulfilled, the happy ending to this year, to this final stage, to this final cycle, to this final chapter. We're closing this book and we're putting it away. Do not look at what things are right now and see it or think that you're seeing it for what it actually is because it is not what it seems. I heard spirits say, come to us for counsel. We will give you the vision. We will give you the intuitive vision. Once we give that to you, do not overthink it. Do not overlook. Don't like keep looking into it. Trust what we are giving you to receive right now. Trust what we are giving you to receive. Look at this, King of Cups at the base of this. There's plenty more that meets the eye. And I totally forgot that Justice card here is reversed and also Eight of Swords. So I am actually feeling this is an unfair advantage. For those of you guys that believe in magic and intention, ask for spirit to divinely intercept here and to transform even the most annoying, plaguing aspects of your life into something so much more magical and spectacular. This card wants me to chase it. The star card. Don't lose faith and lose hope in what can happen based upon what has already happened based upon what you are currently looking at and seeing this is going to give you an, an advantage over everything else spirit is saying listen we are working very hard to be generous with you right now take what was given to you the full card here take what was given to you and work with it right now because that's all that you are going to need Five of Cups, you may be mourning. Knight of Pentacles, you might be mourning, but continue to take steps. Ground yourself, center yourself, stabilize yourself within your routine. Reach out to us for comfort and we will provide. I'm definitely feeling that. Also, also the Death Card is here. So we're definitely closing out a massive chapter within your life. Hierophant is here. This is going to be the normal. Any last messages? Seven of Swords. That's what I said. It's not what it seems. Queen of Cups. This felt weird, so I'm just going to shuffle again. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Something is going, Two of Cups. Something has fallen off the radar, like off the radar. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Um, I just feel like you're going to be tapping into your own, into your own, actually, into your own. This feels really, really promising. It feels really, really good. Um, there's also like one final wish that I feel like you guys should be making. Or there's one major wish that you've made, that Ten of Swords. 
you're at the final stage of that before it actually manifests. Some of you guys, as I said that, you doubted it. Spirit is like, that is okay. That literally, if the fact that you doubted it, it's showing me that again, Eight of Swords, you're tapping into the doubt, the hesitancy, the resistance. And that's where that energy comes up, that courageous energy that says, literally, you might be looking into the eyes of the obstacle right now, but you still say to it, I want you. I want what I want. I want what was, what was written for me. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to get there. Spirit is going to lead the way. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me this week. I hope this message resonates. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, let me know down below. Please also don't forget to check your text messages. Four of Wands, look at that. Check your text messages and let me know what was going on December 11th of this year. And keep me posted and updated if there's any type of revisiting of same type of energies that happened around that time during this week. And then don't forget to put your sun, moon, and rising. Judgment card. The growth is real. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.